I love to go on YouTube. This is Ben. And I'm here today to show you what to do next after you receive your fig tree. All you need is a box cutter. First, start from the top. The first part, and I couldn't really show it much because I need my two hands to open this box. So, you know, but you know, it shows here that I'm cutting it from the top. I slice through the tape and open it from the top. And then do the same thing at the bottom. Cut through the tape. Try to open all sides. And see if you can pull it from underneath. Some sellers would tape the plant on the box, so with this, you know, I decided not to pull it, but I just ended up cutting the whole box and open it from the side and take it from there. The most important thing is to take your time when you're doing this. These plants are delicate. They have traveled a long way and it's normal for them to undergo such stress from, from shipping. Once you've opened the box, inspect the box. Normally, some leaves are wilted. That's that's typical. Like I said, they travel a long way, and all plants stress, especially fig trees. They stress during travel. Most of it through the movement during shipping. There are times when there's one or two wilted leaves. Sometimes all the leaves are wilted. Sometimes they're dry. Sometimes they've fallen off and that's still fine. As long as the plant is well rooted, it will survive. And the next part, I would take off the plastic. Normally they put plastic bags around the pots. And if you're getting all this, I'm just taking my time. With this, you know, if you, if, if you hurry, you can really damage the plant and they may not be able to recover if you do something wrong. So it's just better to take your time. Next is to take off the plant supports. Those sticks are designed to keep the tree in one place so that it doesn't move around inside the box. And then slice through the top part of the pot. This is probably the easiest way of doing it so that you can remove the tape. Most sellers use packing tape so that they can keep the roots undisturbed as much as possible. Yeah, be very gentle, just try, try to make sure not to pull on the stem of the tree. Then remove the tape. Most of the time they would put... <clears throat> Most of the time, sellers would put a wet paper towel on top to prevent dehydration. Sometimes they would insert a wet newspaper. Go ahead and remove that slowly. And there you have it. Next step would be inspecting the soil, check it to see if it's moist, if it's dry. It's not always dry, so you know, you don't always have to water it upon upon receipt of the tree, but always check. 
in this case I had to water because some of the soil around the area was pulled from from the movement. I like to keep the, the air air pockets as, as minimal as possible afterwards. These wilted leaves they may <clears throat> come back and recover after a few days or they may not. Doesn't matter as long as you know most of the leaves or the plant looks healthy it should be fine. Next step would be putting the plant in a stable area where there's no draft, there's no heater blowing on the area. This is a safe, safe area for my plants. This is where I keep most of my young fig trees. Stable temperature, 70 degrees, year round mostly. And I also have a grow light, if you're gonna notice. Next step would be to water the plant. I would water it once or twice until the water comes out of the bottom. Make sure that you have a saucer there to catch the water. And then for the last part, don't forget to drain that water. You can't let it sit in standing water. Most figs don't like that. 